Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you three different ways that you can maximize a window on a Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 700 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So often Mac users want to maximize a window on the screen. This can mean three different things and often what people really want is the third way to maximize. But the first two are all that they find. Let me explain. So here I have a Pages document open up in the App Pages. Now I want to have this fill the screen. There are two really obvious ways to do this that people usually go to but neither of them gives them the result that they want. The first is to simply click this green button here. When you do that it will go into full screen mode. Now you see here if I actually hover the cursor there it gives me the choice to enter full screen mode as the first option and then some other choices like tiling left and right. So clicking this green button or selecting enter full screen does the same thing. You can also go to view and usually there's an enter full screen command with a keyboard shortcut there. All these will do the same thing. They take the window full screen. Menu bar goes away. If you had the dock there it goes away and it occupies the entire thing. Now what you've actually done is to create a full screen app. If you go into Mission Control by using the Control key up arrow you'll see here you've got your desktop and you've got a full screen app Pages. So you can go back to your desktop and maybe you have other apps there running as well and you can go Control up arrow back to Pages. You can also use Control left and Control right. But the intention wasn't to actually create a full screen app. It was to simply make the window as large as possible. So let's exit full screen mode here. I'll do that by moving my cursor up here to the top clicking the green button again. Now the second thing people will do is to use Window Zoom. And you can see there's Window Minimize which will put the window in the dock and there's Zoom which many people just think of as well that's Mac's way of doing Maximize. But if I choose Zoom this is what I get. It didn't maximize at all. So what did it do? Well it actually did maximize the window but only to the point of what was needed for the window. So let's go and zoom again which will reverse that. And you can see here that the document's got a little extra space here on the left and the right side. The sidebars are at full size. So when I zoomed it basically changed the size of the window to be the maximum size that was needed here. So the document here in Pages is at the full size. Everything fits in. You're not missing anything. Now what's confusing here is that in other apps if you do the same thing, Window Zoom, it does actually fill the screen. In this case in the Maps app you have this big flexible space here. So it will enlarge the window as much as it can to fit on the screen. So I can use Zoom to go back and forth between those modes. Another way to get to Zoom is to double click on the title bar obviously avoiding any buttons. And also if you hold the Option key down when putting your cursor over the green button you'll see this changes to Zoom. You could select that or you could just click the green button with the Option key held down and it will zoom there the same. Here's another example. Using Safari if I double click on the title bar you can see it doesn't zoom to the maximum size. It just enlarged the window to the maximum size needed to comfortably view web pages. But the problem with Zoom is in cases like this. All of those options, double clicking the title bar, option clicking the green button, they will all just expand the window but only as much as needed. They won't truly take the window to fill the entire screen. So the third method is a consistent way to always make the window fill the entire screen. Now let me show you the hard way to do it. The hard way to do it is to actually drag either the sides of the window and have it fill everything or use the corners of the window. So I can use the corners of this window here. Drag the top left corner up to the top left. Drag the bottom right corner down to the bottom right and now I get what I want. But that's a lot of actions to get that. Is there a quick way to do it? It turns out there is. You see if you hold the Option key down and you drag anything it will drag that side and the opposite side. So for instance if I drag the right side of the window here you can see it just drags the right side of the window. But if I hold the Option key down and drag the right side you can see the left side moves with it. Same thing if I were to drag the bottom. But if I hold the Option key down the bottom and top move together. This works with corners too. So if I drag the bottom left corner 
you can see it just drags that. But if I hold the Object key down it drags the bottom left and top right corners. The opposite corners are dragged at the same time. Now also know that instead of dragging if you double click any side or corner it will snap all the way to the edge. So I can double click the left side there and you can see how it snapped to the left side. I can double click the top and it snaps to the top. If I double click say the upper left corner it snaps to the upper left. So if I combine those two things, hold the Option key down and double click on any corner, what will happen is that corner will snap to the corner of the screen. The opposite corner will also snap to the corner of the screen. So let me Option double click the top left corner and you can see now it fills the screen. That will work with any corner because any corner plus the opposite corner taken all the way to the edge of the screen will fill the screen. So if you want to expand the window to fill the entire screen but leave the menu bar there, leave other windows hidden underneath it, then all you need to do is Option double click any corner of any window and it will fill the screen with that window. So to review the first way to maximize a window is to take it full screen. Click the green button and now it's a full screen desktop. Then if you want to zoom which will enlarge the window but only as much as it needs, either choose Windows Zoom or hold the Option key and click the green button or double click the title bar. If you want a window to fill out the screen regardless of the contents of the window, Option, double click any of the four corners. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.